how to so we're going to look here how to in dual boot Ubuntu and Prime OS. Uh, Prime OS is an Android operating system. It runs on x86 hardware. Uh, so first off, you want to head to the Prime OS website and um, download the correct ISO that you need. So here on the on the website, there's uh, three options to download. Um, and I'll show you in a second when I find the download button which is right in front of me here we go so we have the um, classic edition the standard edition or um, this one for older devices so if you hit the help button it will take you across to uh, what you actually need um, specs you, your computer needs uh, so the three here, the standard, the classic, and the uh, mainstream one. 32 bits for older systems, the 30 the classic. Um, but I'm going to need the standard one. So, but you download what uh, version you need for your device. So I already have this downloaded, but click here, choose a link when it pops up, and then download it that way. So next, what you want to do is to extract that ISO that you've just downloaded. So you extract it wherever you want, just make sure you know where it is. Um, and then in your home directory, I find this the easiest, but it could be anywhere. But home directory is easier. You want to create a folder and you can name it anything you want. Uh, but I'm going to name it Prime OS because that makes sense to me. And then inside that folder, you want to create another folder called uh, Data. And this is where the user data gets stored. And once that ISO has been extracted, you want to head across and open that folder and you want to transfer some files across to Prime OS folder we've just um, created. So you want to uh, copy these five files, the intrad image, the install image, the kernel, the RAM disk image and the system uh, if, uh, SFS. So go ahead and copy them across to the folder, uh, the Prime OS folder. You could probably just cut and paste them actually. It'll probably be quicker than copying them across, but I've already gone and copied them. Anyway, it's pretty fast, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, then once you've done that, you want to install a program called Grub Customizer. And to find out um, how to do this, it's uh, pretty simple. You just do a Google search again, and um, it gives you some um, information to run and you run it in a terminal and just install Grub Customizer. So I'll just search Grub Customizer here, how to install it uh, from Google. So it gives you a list of instructions for your operating system. Um, using Ubuntu so you want to uh, add this PPA open up a terminal and just copy and paste um, that repository and enter your password then you want to once uh, that's installed you want to update and then uh, hit the command sudo app install grub hyphen customizer and that'll install the grub customizer for you so it makes it nice and simple. Otherwise you've got to go and do it on command line and that's just a pain in the backside. It's easier just to have a, well I find it easy, yeah, just to have a graphical interface um, to work with. So install Grub Customizer. Doesn't take very long, pretty small. And once we've done that, go ahead and close that browser, don't need that anymore. Uh, I have another file here which I'll put in the description and we want to create a um, 
boot file so that when we reboot our computer it knows where to boot. So go on ahead and open Grub Customizer, copy this um, or type this in if you want to, um, this file. Open up the Grub Customizer, you need your password because it's um, necessary. Now here you see what's already booting, that top one there, just Ubuntu, that's what it boots into, your machine boots into when you first start. Click the Add button, give it a name, call mine Prime OS, you can call it anything you want. And hit Other for the type, and now here you want to paste that file. Now there's a few things here you want to change, see where the X's are. You want to put in there where you've saved that Prime OS folder. Or that folder we created earlier. So mine's at uh, home, or root home, and then my username, which is Dr. Who Who Grub, and then that folder Prime OS that we created. And you've got to do it four times uh, for those four files that we copied in there, or five, whatever it was. So, Prime OS, uh, sorry, username, whatever your username is, not Doctor Who, grow a doubt. And then that folder that we created, Prime OS, make sure it's correct, otherwise, spelt correct, otherwise it just won't work. And what this does, it points to uh, where those files that we copied over into that Prime OS folder are. The good thing about dual booting it this way is that it makes it really easy to update. And if you ever want to get rid of it, uh, if you ever want to get rid of Prime OS, you can just delete this file and delete that folder that. Um, you create it and it's gone. Make sure you need to make sure you delete, delete it from the Scrub Customizer. So there we go. That's it. So hit save, and it will save it. Now, if you want to boot directly into Prime OS, you can highlight it, press the up arrow, and hit save again, and it will automatically boot to Prime OS when you um, reboot. So go ahead, close everything down, reboot, and that's it. It's all done.